Hello everyone, welcome to the video series on pharmacological classification of drugs. In this video, I will explain the drug classification of diarrhea. See, all the drugs which I am going to explain are from this book called Pharmacological Classification of Drugs by K.D. Tripathi. If you have any doubt, please go through this book. Now, coming to diarrhea, diarrhea is caused by three major factors. One, bacterial infection. This can be treated by using antibiotics. Second one, reduced levels of probiotics. Now, probiotics are symbiotic gut organisms which help us in digestion, synthesizing vitamins and maintaining immunity. During prolonged therapy of antibiotics, these organisms may die and may cause diarrhea. We eat curds to get these probiotics like lactobacillus. Now, third one is irritable bowel syndrome. If someone has got irritable bowel syndrome, it may cause diarrhea. So the treatment involves addressing all these problems. Now the first one is antibiotics. Antibiotics like norfloxacin, levofloxacin, rifaximin, uh, cotrimoxazole, tetracycline, erythromycin, metronidazole are used. Now out of all of them, rifaximin is a drug of choice to treat travelers diarrhea. It acts by inhibiting bacterial protein synthesis. So this is about antibiotics. Coming to probiotics, there are these are the organisms which can be taken in the form of spores or in the form of food. The organisms are Lactobacillus pieris, Bacillus clausi, uh, Saccharomyces boulardii, Bifidobacterium bifida, Streptococcus faecalis. All these are probiotic organisms. Now there are certain other antidiarrheal agents are there. These other antidiarrheal agents include adsorbents or absorbents like Isapcula methylcellulose. The next one is anti-secretory agents like anticholinergics, octreotide, uh, bismuth subnitrate, and then rescadotril. Now, see, out of this, octreotide is a somatostatin analog which inhibits all the secretions, hence, it is used as anti-secretory agents. Whereas rescadotril, these drug enhances the amount of enkephalins and this results in anti-secretory agent. Now, third class in, in other antidiarrheal is uh, uh, anti-motility agents. They reduce the motility of large intestine, hence diarrhea is reduced. Drugs like codeine, loperamide uh, and uh, diphenoxalate are used in this category. Usually diphenoxalate is used along with atropine. Now, the last one is treatment of uh, irritable bowel syndrome. Now, irritable bowel syndrome can be treated by three classes of drugs. The first class is 5-aminosalicylic acid derivatives like sulfasalazine, mesalazine, balsalazine, old salicine. So these drugs are used to treat irritable bowel syndrome. Second class is glucocorticoids which are used to reduce the pain like prednisolone, hydrocortisone. Third one is immunosuppressants. See most of the time irritable bowel syndrome is because of autoimmunity disease. So to control that immunosuppressants are used. Immunosuppressants like uh, immunosuppressants like azathioprine, uh, cyclosporine, uh, methotrexate, and then infliximab. Infliximab is uh, tumor necrosis factor inhibitor. All these drugs are used. So this is the drug therapy of anti-diarrhea. I hope this is useful. Thank you.